Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Recently I did a video talking about how to go about backing up Lightroom. After that video posted, I received several emails and comments from people asking me how I would go about backing up another application such as Luminar 4, On One Photo Raw, Capture One, and so on. Most of those questions were about Luminar 4, so I thought I'd do this video and in it we're going to talk about uh, how to go about backing up Luminar 4. Now, Whenever you're talking about a non-destructive RAW editor such as Luminar 4 or any of those other applications I mentioned, what you need to keep in mind is that these applications never write anything directly to the RAW file. The RAW files are pristine just like you had them on your memory card of the camera. Nothing has changed with those. Whenever you use one of these applications to edit any metadata that includes star ratings, color labels, pick flags, or you're actually editing it, you're doing develop edits, all that information is kept in a separate area. That separate area is called, in most of these applications, a catalog. So what you need to do when you back up Luminar 4 or any of those other applications, you need to back up the actual images, but you also need to back up the catalog because you have the images without the catalog, you won't have any of your edits. So you need to back up both. Now most of these applications too will have stuff built in to back up the catalog, but nothing to back up the images. So you're on your own with the images. You need to back those up regularly yourself. Now it is recommended that you have three copies of all your images. You should have the original copy on the original hard drive. Then you should have another copy on a different hard drive. That way if the original hard drive fails, you still have that other copy. Also, you should have another copy off-site. Nowadays, we say the cloud. That way, if something happens to both of those hard drives with the first two copies, maybe there's a fire, maybe there was a theft, you still have another copy off-site in the cloud. The same is true for your catalog. You should have three copies of your catalog. You should have the original copy on the original hard drive, another copy on another hard drive, and then another copy off-site in the cloud. Now, I mentioned that most of these applications have stuff built in to back up the catalog. Luminar 4 actually backs up the catalog every 20 minutes by default. And you could change that. Um, if we go up to Preferences on a Mac, Preferences is under Luminar 4. On a PC, it's under Edit. Go to Preferences, and you can see just partway down, it says maximum size for backup. So it's backing up your catalog every 20 minutes, and it doesn't overwrite the previous backup. It just keeps adding a new backup to a folder. Eventually, if it didn't have a limit, it would fill up your hard drive. So you could uh, limit the size of that folder, that backup folder, and by default, it's going to be at 2 gigabytes. If you have limited drive space, you may want to lower that. You may want it higher, I don't know. Now frequency, I mentioned by default it does it every 20 minutes. Um, you could change it to once per session, so every time you close down Luminar 4, it will back up. You could have it rarely, that's once an hour. You could have it normal, like I mentioned, that's once every 20 minutes, or often is once every five minutes. I'll just leave mine at normal at the default settings. Now, the location of the catalog is shown right here. And you actually could go to that very easily, and you could actually uh, back it up when you go to it. Uh, for example, let me show you. Go up to File, over to Catalog, and then down to, on my Mac, it says Show and Finder. If you have a PC, it will say Show and Explore. If you click on that, it does the same thing. It just opens up a window, and it shows your catalog. Now, you could back this up, but don't just back up that single file, because other information that you need is in the history file or history folder as well. And I'm not sure about this cache file, but you might as well copy that as well and copy up the back, copy the backups as well. That way, if you copy this and it's corrupt or something or gets corrupted along the line and you need to restore it, at least you have the backup as well you could work with. So back up all four of these entities that are here copy them to another hard drive, and then copy them off-site to the cloud as well. So do that. Now I mentioned that backup folder could get real large. I have it limited to two gigabytes. You can see that all those backups are there every 20 minutes going back, 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 back. So uh, again, that folder will get really large 
and if you have limited hard drive space, remember to go to preferences and lower that size of that backup so you won't have as many there. So simple as that, you could come in here, take these four entities, the two files, the two folders, back them to an, up to another hard drive, or and I should say, and back them up offsite to the cloud. Or if you prefer, you could have Luminar do this for you. Uh, to do that, go up to File, Catalog, and you could see Backup right here. Click on that, and it's going to ask you where you want to put the backup. And you could see uh, by default, it's going to have the same name, Luminar Catalog, and then it's going to be dot .Luminar Backup. And for this demo, I'm just going to leave it right to my desktop. All right, that's not recommended, obviously. I should be copying this to another hard drive. Then after it copies to that other hard drive, I should copy it off-site as well. But for this demo, I'm just going to click Save and let it do it. Now you can see it says Backup in Progress. What it's doing is it's taking those four entities that I showed you a second ago, the two files and the two folders, and it's compressing them, and it's putting them on my desktop. Now I'll let it do that and we'll come back when it's done and then we'll talk about it some more. Okay, it finished the backup and if I minimize Luminar for a second we could see that that file is right here. Now to properly do this backup what I should do is put this on a different hard drive and then put it on the cloud somewhere like put it in my Dropbox so it gets saved to the cloud or something like that. Now, I want to just look at it for a second at some of the features. You can see it's very large. It's 1.71 gigabytes in size. That is because this file includes everything I showed you a second ago. If I go up to File, Catalog, Show and Finder, it includes everything here, all zipped together. You can see my actual Luminar catalog is only 1.5 megabytes. And this cache file is only 16 kilobytes, so nothing much there. But everything else is uh, relatively beefy. This history file has a lot in it. But you need to save everything. And that's what it does. Now, when you save that off-site, and let's just say that, uh, you know, disaster strikes and you lose your original hard drive, you buy a new computer, you have that, um, that uh, backup on a different hard drive, and your new computer accesses that different hard drive. To restore it, go up to File, Catalog, Restore from Backup. Then you could just go to wherever this file is, click there and click open, and then it will open it up. But remember, you need to back up your images as well, because a catalog without the images is worthless, and your images without the catalog is equally worthless. So make sure you have your images backed up as well. I recommend that um, you keep the same file structure when you back up your images, that way, when you restore your catalog and you have that same file structure, let's say you, you had to restore that as well, um, for the images, uh, Luminar will be able to find the images because it's going to look at a specific hard drive in a specific folder in specific subfolders for those images. And if your backup routine changes the folder structure, or changes even the names of the files or anything like that, then Luminar 4 won't be able to find them. So keep that folder structure intact and don't by definitely don't change any names of folders or files or anything like that. That way, this should be as painless as possible. I mean, it's bad enough to lose a hard drive, uh, but at least this will help you uh, make sure that you're not losing your edits and losing your images. Now remember again, I'll say it again, is you gotta back up your images independently. There's nothing built into Luminar 4 to back up your images. So either manually back them up or maybe you could, uh, you have some software that automatically backs up folders, something, whatever it takes. If anyone uses any specific type of software that will automatically back up a folder or folders, Leave it in the comments below. Let other people know what you use and what's good about it. And, you know, hopefully this will uh, help, you know, make sure that nobody uh, suffers a great loss because their hard drive crashed. Now, again, that's pretty much it. Again, it's built in. It's not automated. You're going to have to do it yourself. Meaning, I should say that backup is automated every 20 minutes, but it gets saved to the same hard drive. I mean... It's kind of worthless really so 
um, backing up to a different hard drive and to the cloud isn't automated. You're going to have to do that regularly yourself. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.